Okay. Let's just put it this way. Whoever designed No Man's Sky and decided that they should use Steam's controller mapping, you're a flippin' idiot. Now, that being said, there's ways to fix this. Conveniently, X360 CE V4 is a great program that emulates a 360 controller that I could totally map in Steam and have no problems with. Except for this one problem. I can't actually map my controllers. I can map my G27, no problems, but I can't map my flight stick, my flight throttle, or my G13. Now, I noticed when looking up G13 that there was someone else having a problem, so I'm going to show you how that I got it to work because there's no reason why it shouldn't. It is not a keyboard, contrary to this program's belief. Neither are any of these three. Don't know, especially not even its own emulated device shows up as a keyboard. Who wrote that? Here you go. It works just fine. Here's your G13 working. Now I had to make a new profile for No Man's Sky, so I have to constantly redo this. But here you go, look, I added the fighter stick too. Here, I'll map it for you. Works fine. I don't know who added this to this version of this program, but if you could please remove it, it would be great. Your old program had absolutely no problems whatsoever loading any of these controllers. I didn't have to set them, I didn't have to nothing. It flat out detected them and worked. First try, no problem. This is the flight stick, by the way. This is the throttle, and this is my racing wheel, set up for GTA 5. I don't understand why they removed the ability to do it, but as the person I'm posting this to also has this problem, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Step one, if you haven't done it already, open it so it detects all your stuff. You to posted pictures, so I'm going to assume you've done that. You're gonna open this PC. Here, I'll even do it the other way. I have hotkeys. This PC. You're gonna to go to your C drive. If you don't have it checked already, view, hidden items. Then you're gonna click on program data. Go in there. Down here to X360 CE. You're going to edit files, so make sure you have your game added. Go in here. Go into user devices. This will give you the information you need to map your device. This is every device listed that the program has access to, including its fake controller, the mouse, the G27 racing wheel, the test device that it can spawn, my old driver that doesn't work, my G13, and my Pro Throttle, and another 360 controller, my G27. Here's my new Pro Throttle driver, the proper one. And here's the fighter stick driver. This is where we need to be. Now, back up your user settings, because if you screw it up, you will have to reset your already set controllers if you have any. If not, you want to edit this. I would tell you to get a program like Notepad++, because it'll organize it like this, rather than giving it to you in a steaming pile of mess, which is what... Actually, Notepad gives it to you pretty organized, too. Either way, open it with your Notepad editor. Now, there's going to be some important settings in here you got to look at. This is one controller for one profile with a device type. Now, 21 has always worked good for me for generic joysticks, but for racing wheels, it is 22 that is the wheel. You can change this later, but for now, let's just do this. So let's say you want to add a new device to your profile. So you'll see right here, I have No Man's Sky, and it does not have my flight throttle the G13 or my flight stick on it. I need to correct this issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna copy this whole setting, all of it, the whole thing, copy, and uh, put her down here, put one. Now I need to map two controllers, so I'm gonna put two. Now, all you'll see here is I now have three G27s. Obviously that's not going to work. Now you're going to find your G13 in this list, but I'm going to show you what to do. It's the same process. You're gonna go here, instance GUID. You're gonna copy this whole thing, all of these. Okay, don't copy anything else, just those four lines. You're gonna go into one of these and you're gonna find instance GUID. And you're gonna go down to the same product name and you're going to replace it. 
Now I have I am anal about my formatting, so I am going to fix the formatting on this page so that it's not screwed up. I need to really learn my Stream Deck home keys because I have had issues there too. Um, home. Okay. That is my pro throttle added. You want to make sure that completion is set to zero so that you do not have anything mapped. Do not touch anything else unless you want it on a controller two, three, or four. This is where you put that in. You want it mapped to the first controller, controller one. Now I'm going to do the same thing again with my fighter stick. I'm going to copy the instance to the product name. Copy. I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to paste this in here and be anal and fix my formatting again. Home up. Oh, there we go. I've screwed up my formatting there. Backspace, home, tab, tab, or tab, space, space. I don't know why it's formatted that way, but it is. And home, tab, space, space. All right, and just for shits and giggles, I'm actually gonna do the G13 as well, just to prove to you that it does work for the G13. I'm going to remove it immediately after because I don't really need it for No Man's Sky. But here we go. I copied my settings again. I'm going to come in here and search for G13. Here's my G13. I'm going to copy the instance and the product name. Copy. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to map these to instance and product name. I'm going to be anal and fix my work. It's really odd getting used to the Stream Deck for my uh, home keys. The keyboard I had that had all these buttons kind of broke, so I'm now stuck to uh, my Ducky, which is a very nice keyboard, except for it doesn't have any of those keys. All right, you're going to save that file. Once that file is saved, you're going to go back into X360 version 4, and it's going to take a second to load. Might even be a little mad. Loaded. Switch to No Man's Sky. And here you go. You'll see I have a whole bunch of extra devices. But more importantly, what you can do is you can go through, map whichever one works. So I'm going to map this G13 one. I have my G13 set up. There you go. So that one works. So this one I'm going to remove. Ah, that's an issue I didn't have with the other one. Either way, it'll work. You can map it and you can play with it. Um, let me fix that. No, I would like you to load mine. Thank you. Now, I'm going to try to reload that one more time. It shouldn't duplicate like that. As you saw in the other profile, it wasn't duplicating. That might just be a weird bug because it's adding devices it shouldn't be. Ten devices. I don't know. It's mapping each one twice. Just take a look here. We're going to try closing it. Let it map it. Yes. Now let's take a look. Once, twice, three times, four times. I've never tried adding it to another game, so that might be the problem. Either way, it works. You can map it. If you're only doing one controller, it shouldn't duplicate like that. I'm not really sure why it's doing it now, but... Either way, that's not what I wanted. No Man's Sky. Yeah, I don't know why it's mapping 10 devices, but here. Let's map something on the wheel here. So there's the wheel working. Let's map something on my throttle here, which will be the trigger for throttle. There it is. Map something on my G13 so that we can do that. Oops, I did that backwards. There we go, G13. So I've just mapped one axis on each. Here's my wheel. 
we can hear it. Here's my flight stick. Here's my G13. And here is my throttle. There you go, they all work. I don't know why the mapping in here is being stupid. It may sort itself out once you have saved it. But if not, your controller works and you should be able to play. We'll just go in here one more time and see if it will show me it. There you go, there's the flight, flight throttle, flight stick. G13, the entire pad mapped. Okay, I gotta look up why it's double mapped. And uh, my wheel. That's how you add the G13. I don't know why someone decided to add that. I love this piece of software and I always have, and I will always have a use for it, but that was a stupid decision and really needs to be changed out because all these devices are not computer device, are not keyboard devices. They are controllers, proper controllers. And I cannot add them simply because they have been flagged at whatever the computer is. Anyways, I hope that helped. Sorry, it's actually only 10 minutes long. I'm surprised. Have a good one and happy gaming.